of Makeup Mayhem and I got a request from this person right here on Twitter and they asked if I could do a drugstore beauty haul and since I may have gone to Ulta and I may have also gone to Target and picked up some things, I thought that I would just show you guys. I guess I'll start off with the stuff that I got from Ulta because this is clearly the place where I went a little crazy. So, digging in, um, I got a new Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Shampoo because if you watched my last video, then you know that I used up my last bottle completely and I needed a new one because I love this shampoo. It's a great clarifying shampoo to just kind of get all of the gunk out of your hair. So, I was about to be really excited and then I realized that I got the wrong product because I meant to get the Naughty to Nice Detangling Spray, but I ended up getting the Beat the Heat heat protectant from the Not Your Mother's brand and I must have just picked up the wrong bottle because they were right next to each other but I guess I can try this out and see how it goes. Maybe it'll just end up being a happy accident. Who knows? Since I've been wanting to try out a new nighttime moisturizer, I decided to pick up the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this is oil-free. It says it locks in moisture for 24 hours and blocks out dryness. This is what it looks like. And open this guy up here. Oh, it smells really good. So I'm definitely going to like the smell of this at least. I was planning on getting the Biore No Strips for like blackheads, but then I saw these and they were cheaper and the packaging just kind of sucked me in because it was really bold and it said down to the pore, blackhead banishing pore strips with tea tree and kaolin? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. These are little strips that you put on your nose and then they pull out the blackheads and believe me, I definitely need that. For some reason, I don't know, blackheads really like noses, but I wish they wouldn't. I wish they would just go away, but hopefully these strips will make them go away. And then also from that same brand, this is Formula 10.0.6. I think that's the name of this brand. Interesting name. This is the Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask, and this has strawberry and another thing that I don't know what it is, yarrow? But it says this skin refining mask with berry boosters goes straight to work on clogged pores. Strawberry and rosemary eliminate impurities while yarrow clarifies skin for instant complexion perfection. So that's what this does and I smelled it and it smelled really good. It smelled like strawberry so that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted this. And then I got this dry shampoo. This is the dry shampoo and I got this because it's blondie always talks about this and she always says that she hates saying the name and I can understand why because you feel kind of weird saying Psst as like the name <laughs> but um, yeah I'm excited to try this out because I love dry shampoo I think it's a great thing to have and it's great for holding your hair over between washes, especially if you're like me and you tend to have an oilier scalp. So this is a lifesaver and I'm excited to see how this works. I also got another Falsies Flared Mascara in the waterproof formula, of course, because I love this mascara and I just figured I should get a new one because I'm completely out. I also got a tube of the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer and this is for medium to tan skin tones. I'm never sure if I should get fair to medium or medium to tan, so I just went medium to tan because I figured maybe it'll just end up looking a little bit darker on me and I'm going to get darker eventually as I spend more time out in the sun, so I just figured I'm going to end up with this one anyway, so I should probably just get it now. I do like this stuff. It says, finally, great color without odor, but I'm going to say it still kind of smells like fake tan. It's not completely like fake tan odor free but it gets the job done and I like it because it's a gradual tanner combined with a daily moisturizer so it doesn't look as artificial. I just like using this mostly on my legs because my legs aren't as normally exposed as like my head and my arms and stuff so this just kind of helps to make my legs match the rest of my body. I found two of the limited edition Maybelline color tattoos. This one is Lavish Lavender and then this one is I see mint and these two colors sucked me in. This is actually a really similar color to the top that I'm wearing right now. I just think that both of these are super, super pretty and I'm really excited to try them out because 
I just don't really have any cream eyeshadows in this color and I think they'll be really pretty for spring and summer. I got a Real Techniques brush because I love the stippling brush that I got and so I decided to try the setting brush and I really really wanted some of the other face brushes but Ulta is just sold out of them every time I go in so I'm just crossing my fingers that the next time I go they'll have them because I really love them and these brushes are by Samantha Chapman who is one of the Pixie Woo, bleh, Pixie Woo girls here on YouTube so I just think it's awesome to support another YouTuber and these brushes are amazing so I'm definitely going to be getting more. I'm not sure if this really counts as a drugstore product but I got it at Ulta. I didn't even know they sold body shop products at Ulta. I'm almost out of the strawberry body butter and you guys know that I freaking love that stuff. It smells oh, it smells heavenly. It makes you smell like a strawberry shortcake in a very good way and it's amazing and I have been holding out on this mango body butter because I knew I would want it for like later in spring and summer and since I'm almost out of the strawberry I told myself that I was allowed to get the mango one. I can't even describe to you guys how amazing this smells. It smells like you're just putting mangoes all over your body and it is just the best thing ever. It might even be better than the strawberry one but we shall see after I start using this. And then because I've been loving the other Chroma lip gloss that I have, the Orange Blossom Honey, I decided to try out the nude lip combo that the Chroma Beauty line has. This is a line by Kourtney, Kim, and Khloe Kardashian, and this set is supposed to basically be like Kim's perfect nude lip, I believe. So this is the In the Nude little set here and I love the other lip gloss that I have so I just figured maybe I'll try this and see how it goes. I got one more thing from the Chroma line and this is the Long Lasting Illuminator in Burnish and this stuff is really interesting because it's like a powder but it kind of feels squishy like a cream. It's almost like a cream to powder formula which is really awesome. It feels amazing, super velvety, and I feel like this would be great to use as like a highlighter or just like a really nice pretty shimmery eyeshadow. And then I got a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil because I've never had this one before. This is Cashmere and it's kind of like a gold champagne color. You guys know I love anything that's like a champagne color so this was like right up my alley. And then I got some sunscreen because I just needed some. I'm going to be in the Revlon walk run on May 11th which is Saturday and since I don't have any more sunscreen I figured I should probably get some because I'm probably gonna need it on Saturday. I tried this stuff out on my hand and it feels really good. It's not greasy and it kind of dries to a matte finish so I feel like this will be okay to use on my face and it says it's oil free, fragrance free, water resistant, and hypoallergenic so this shouldn't clog my pores, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I got a lip gloss which I am wearing today. This one is the NYX Nude Pink Lip Gloss and I really like it. I'm wearing it over the top of this other lipstick that I got which is orange soda. It's not really like orange, it's kind of like a peachy nude color so it's interesting that they decided to call this orange soda but I really like the combination of these two together and then I also got pure nude and this one is actually more like vibrant than the orange soda so it's interesting their name choices here and then for nail polish because you know me I have a problem with nail polish and I just can't resist it so I got five of them, so here we go. I got two Essie ones. This one is Essie Hot as Hello. I love this color, and I owned it before, but I used most of it up, so I decided to get a new one. And then I also got Boom Boom Room, which is the color that I'm wearing on my nails right now, and this is just a nice, bright, bubblegum pink color, which... I'm all for. I love me some pink nail polish. Then I got something that isn't so interesting, but I thought it was cool. It's called Canary Cool, and this is just like a cream colored nail polish that I thought would be great if I want something a little bit more subtle and just something to make my nails look really polished, but not something super bright. And then speaking of super bright, I got these two nail polishes. This one is from China Glaze and it is Turned Up Turquoise, which is, oh my gosh, very bright. I feel like it's even brighter in person, 
but I feel like this is going to be amazing for summertime. And then I also got Zealous from Revlon, which is kind of like a bright chartreuse color with some shimmer in it. And now moving on to the stuff that I got from Target. I got a Milani blush in Coralina because I love Luminoso so much. And then I got two of the Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow quads. This one is Shimmering Sands, which is really weird. I didn't actually look at the name before this, but it has the exact same name as the one from CoverGirl. And I'm actually wearing this top color up here today on my lids, and I really like it. And then I also got Bed of Roses, which has some darker colors in here, but I feel like both of these are just great everyday palettes. And since I love the Maybelline Master Duo liquid eyeliner so much, the regular one in black, I figured I would try out the violet one because I do like wearing purple eyeliner sometimes. I feel like especially if you have brown eyes, it really enhances your eye color. And then I think I showed this in another haul, but I ended up having to get a different shade. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And the shade that I got last time was too light, so I went a little bit darker and went with medium beige. And then last but not least, I got a Cosmo magazine because... Whenever a new Cosmo comes out, I just can't resist it, so I grabbed this as I was checking out. So that's going to be it for my haul today, and now I'm going to be sneaking in a surprise little giveaway here at the end. But I have a bunch of things here to give away, and one person will win all of this stuff. I'll have a complete list of everything down below in the information bar, but I have brushes, makeup wipes, mascara, and then this whole bag full of a bunch of stuff that I just showed in this video as well as a pair of sunglasses and a cute little case to put them in so there's a ton of stuff in this bag. So if you would like to win this stuff, all you have to do is, number one, make sure you are subscribed to my beauty channel, which is the channel that you are watching this video on right now. And then number two, leave a comment down below and leave a request for Makeup Mayhem, so a video that you would like to see me do, and you can leave as many comments as you want. This giveaway will be open through the end of May, so all the way through Makeup Mayhem, and then I will select a winner randomly, and anyone, anywhere can enter, so this is an international giveaway. And if you would like to give this video a thumbs up, um, I would love you forever and you'd make my day and you'd just be really awesome. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you all are doing really well and I'll see you guys the day after tomorrow. Bye!